Breaking into a computer is shockingly easy. Anyone can do it, and all you need are a few free tools you can find online. Of course, we don't condone using these powers for evil, but there are a lot of legitimate reasons you might want to do this. If you get locked out of your computer, this can help you get back in. In fact, I actually recommend everyone try this at least once on their own computer to see how secure it is. The more you know about breaking into a computer, the better you can protect yourself from the real evildoers. If all you need is access to a few files on the computer, just boot up from a Linux Live CD like Ubuntu and start dragging and dropping. You may need to run your file manager as root by opening a terminal and running the sudo nautilus command, but you should be able to access most files pretty easily. The only exception is if your hard drive is encrypted. So, if you want to protect yourself from this type of attack, encrypt your hard drive with something like TrueCrypt. But let's say you want to actually get into Windows itself. You have a few options, each of which have different strengths and weaknesses. Method 1 is to reset the existing password using something like the Trinity Rescue Kit. Download it from trinityhome.org, burn it to a CD, put it into the computer in question. It'll take a few minutes to boot up, but when it's ready, head to the Windows Password Resetting menu and choose the Interactive WinPass option. It'll give you a list of hard drives and partitions. Pick the Windows one. In this case, it's the only drive on the computer, and press Enter. From there, select the first option, Edit User Data and Passwords. Then, type in the username of the user whose password you want to clear. At the next menu, choose option 1, Clear the user password. Option 2 can cause problems and isn't worth the trouble. When you're done, type in an exclamation point and then Q to quit. Now you can reboot the computer and log in without a password. This method won't work, again, if your computer is encrypted with software like TrueCrypt, so you can use encryption to protect yourself from similar attacks. This also won't work on Windows 8 installations that use Microsoft accounts, though it will work for local accounts. Method 2 is to actually crack the password, which works on encrypted and unencrypted drives. However, the more secure your password is, the harder it will be to crack. For this, we're going to use a tool called OffCrack which you can download from offcrack.sourceforge.net. Download the ISO and burn it to a CD or DVD, just like we did with Trinity. Boot into the Offcrack CD and select the default graphical version to get it started. It should run everything automatically. If the graphical version doesn't work, try text mode instead. It'll take a while to crack all the passwords on the system, but when it's done, you'll see them in the right sidebar here. To protect yourself from brute force attacks like this, create a long, complex password. Those are much more difficult for OffCrack to break. Clearly, this idiot had a very easy to crack password, but his girlfriend had one longer than 14 characters, so OffCrack wasn't able to crack it. Good for her. Once you've gotten your password, you can reboot the PC, log into Windows, and do whatever it is you need to do.